always ask me, what do you really want to, what did you really learn from training at Railroad and from Norfolk Southern and CSX? Okay, here you go. One, Norfolk Southern, yeah, they do from day go one. You learn half train, half in the classroom. I'll give them credit on that. Troy down there, real good guy, ex-Marine, real, really cares about your family when you have something wrong, gives you options and stuff like that. <clears throat> That's Norfolk Southern for you. Only thing that Norfolk Southern I didn't like about Norfolk Southern is that with the last day um, was April 23rd or 24th when the FRA came on um, site, everything just dr drastically switched. And I mean, you can't do this, you can't do that. So everything that was training us was half lies. Um, so you got to take whatever they say, half lies, half truth. Um, so, um, and then honestly, um, sometimes, uh, so you might ask yourself, what are you really learning in Norfolk Southern? Half of the stuff you're learning there, they give you the book, hey, learn it. So th therefore you're actually learning at Norfolk Southern. Half of the stuff, they'll give you the answers to the test and whatnot, um, which is kind of helpful, but you still got to learn. CSX, on the other hand, CSX, don't go training at CSX. They're 100% lies. Both railroads don't give two flying craps about your family. They don't care about if you, if you have birthdays, funerals, whatever, none of that. Being up, up close and honest, but up, I mean, utmost and honest with you right now. They want you to work 365 days a year, 24 7. They don't care. You'll be making 185 a day. You can work 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 hours and deadhead back home. They don't care. It's about the shareholders and everything else. They don't care about you. That's just being up, up and truthful with you. I work for both. Trust me when I tell you this. Um, I talked to my guy, uh, Railroad Talk on here. Um, hopefully he shares this video so everybody knows um, the truth about it. But the difference between CSX and Norfolk is CSX, they give you exams and they give you, they, they'll give you the, the, the test and the quizzes. The difference between that, CSX, you're in the class the majority of the time. You are barely ever out in the field on that train. So what are you really learning? You ain't really learning jack shit, nothing. To keep it honest with you. CSX, they'll give you the answer. They'll give you the questions and the answers. So what are you really learning? You really ain't learning nothing. So therefore, it's unsafe. And I mean, it's 100% unsafe. CSX, CSX is a freaking joke. If you think that the people at CSX is being safe, people that live around the rails are safe, all that, you're just totally, totally lying to yourself i'll tell you that right now um <clears throat> the fra itself the fra is a hundred percent joke anybody that, that thinks the fra is there to save them whatever there that's a lie do the fra all the fra is paid for by norfolk southern bnsf um csx all it is is the the railroad companies infiltrated the federal government to say hey look we're here to say it's safe but it's actually not um you, they, they'll never find the companies. They'll always find the conductors. The engineers will never hardly ever get fined. It'll always be the conductor. So it's always you guys being a conductor getting fined. It'll come out your pay. The the I mean, just keeping it straight up and honest with you. For me, me being person, me, personally, my views, what I've seen, my trials and tribulations through Norfolk Southern and CSX. Um, these companies will never take the blame themselves. Even if it is their fault, they try to push it off all on conductors. Um, so therefore, I, in my my opinion, the conductors need to be paid way more. CSX lies off jump saying you're going to be making eighteen fifty a week, blah, 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 this and that. Plus over time, that's a false lie. You're only making nine ninety one a week. So anybody tells you that, human resources, anybody tells you that CSX are bull face lying to you. You're only making nineteen or $991 a week. No matter if you work 80 hours, you're only making nine ninety one a week. Um, overtime, they'll say you make eighteen fifty a week plus overtime. You don't make overtime pay until you're in phase two. And that can happen in many, many weeks. It can happen in months. It can happen after you're out of your six-month training. Who knows when it, when it comes to CSX. My suggestion is stay away from CSX. CSX is nothing but a bunch of liars. They're full of shit. Just keep it honest with you. I don't mean to use that type of language, but just keep it honest with you. If you're going to choose someone, 
my suggestion is either choose Norfolk Southern, even though they they sometimes they lie about stuff, but between Norfolk Southern and CSX, I say Norfolk Southern is your best bet. Even though I did catch some lies about Norfolk Southern between them training and the FRA when they came on deck, but I'll say this much, Norfolk Southern when you're down there in training, they're they're more safe you are in and teaching you about the safety side of everything than what CSX is. CSX is once you get it, get you in, get you out, you ain't really learning down there. They're just handing you everything, telling you everything. So if you fail CSX training, that's your fault. Don't ask me how you can fail a CSX training when they're telling you the questions, telling you the answers to the test and everything else. So with that being said, good luck. People are quitting the railroads for a reason, and it's and it's most likely the older people that are quitting because they're realizing, hey, look, they don't give two fine shits about the the, the workers anymore. They only give a fuck about the shareholders, and that and that's just being 100% honest with you. They don't give a shit about the workers. I'm just being 100% honest with you guys. They don't give two shit about the railroad workers, but be safe out there. If I was you guys, I'd, choose, I'd, I'd honestly choose a new profession. You'd make more sitting at home, working for Chrysler, Jeep, Dana, somewhere around there. <clears throat> Within the time that, that, you, that you'd end up working for a railroad. That's just my honest opinion. Um, like, I, I, I quit. I, I work for Dana now. Um, I, I bring home 1800 a week besides working, spending freaking 14 15 16 sometimes a week away from home only bringing home 991 dollars a week you know what i'm saying i'm bringing home 1800 dollars a week then you got to figure also taking out railroad retirement taxes which is honestly fraud because to take railroad retirement tier one and tier two out you have to be married to take tier two out then then yeah you have 90 days to sign into a union which honestly if you are a trainee and you are signing into a union within 90 days. They don't back you until you get out of training. So therefore, you're signing, you're paying for union dues when they don't back you till you're out of training. So that is fraud. You're paying for fraud, or not you're paying for fraud, but you're paying into a union that does not back you. That is fraud. That is a hundred percent fraud. You are paying into a union that will not protect you. Trust me when I tell you that. But your first check goes to retire, railroad retirement. That is fraud because therefore, if you get fired, any of that, you cannot get that railroad retirement back. But who's going to collect $100, $200, $300 of railroad retirement out? But they, they take it out of your check, but by the time you get your railroad retirement, it's only what? Maybe $20, $30 bucks of railroad retirement when they already took two, dollars $300 off of railroad retirement? Tell me that ain't some fraud. That's just being facts. Do probably want to, I mean, Railroad Talk guy won't even probably share this video because I'm keeping it honest with everybody. But I'm just speaking, keeping it up and honest and as truthful as I can with you guys. Railroad is not what it used to be. Trust me. Trust me when I tell you. Trust me. Much love, people. Pick a new profession because trust me when I tell you, it's not what it used to be.